Hey boxers, in this video we are going to be working with user interfaces. We're going to be making a cool main menu and a really awesome main menu transition into our game. It's going to look a little something like this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over here to the flap template and I'm going to go ahead and just double click on my flap template right now to get started. Okay, so you should start off with something pretty basic. You've got your start node here that leads to your 3D world where you're able to play and use the different buttons that you've got on your user interface. And when your character is defeated, it's going to set off the game over event observer. And then you're gonna go over to the game over UI, which is gonna allow you to restart your game and repeat the loop. So to create the cool looking main menu that I showed you before, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna create a second 3D world and a second UI or user interface and we're gonna use that as the main menu because if you look at the top games in the App Store, their main menus are often heavily animated. So we're gonna try to go for something like that on this one. And once we're done with our cool animation, we're gonna send them into our 3D world into the other UI, which is eventually gonna send them to the game over UI when the player is defeated. So what we'll do is is we can either select our 3D world and select our UI and then just hit W, A, S, or D on our keyboard. I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard right now so it creates a duplicate right below the 3D world. Um, or we can also right click any open space here and we can just select add new UI. The advantage of creating a copy using W, A, S, or D is if you have a bunch of things in your user interface or your 3D world you wanna see duplicated. So that's the advantage there. So when you're working with UIs, it's really easy to hook these up. You just select this UI output here and hook it up to the UI load input. And then you can select the UI and rename it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this main menu UI. And right now I'm going to rename all of these and I'm going to move them around and make them nice and neat real fast. All right, that looks pretty good. You can see that we've got one little problem here. We need to hook up a play button to our 3D world, and we're gonna do that in just a second. But first, if you're using a Mac, then hit Command S on your keyboard and go ahead and save. If you're using a Windows, hit Control S on your keyboard. I'm gonna save this to my desktop for right now. I'm gonna call this main menu example. And we'll let it take a second to save. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump into our main menu UI. So I'm gonna double click on our main menu UI and it'll take you to the UI editor. First thing we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go up here to our buttons menu and we're gonna drag in a navigation button. Okay, and so let's name this the play button. And then also I'm gonna go over here into my folder and I'm gonna pull out an image for the play button. So I'm gonna grab this play button image and I'm just gonna drag it into the image box and then there you go. So I'll exit out of that and you can see that we have an image here for our play button. So I'll go ahead and I'll center it down right about here and then that should be good. Now we're gonna leave everything else here the same and one thing to notice is the action type is set to default. And let me show you right now in the mind map how we're gonna hook this up. So I'm gonna go back to my mind map here and now you can see that I've got this play button and that's the navigation button and I'm going to just hook this up to my 3D world. So now when I hit the play button, it's gonna send me into my 3D world and that's exactly what we want. But first I'm gonna add a couple more things to the main menu UI and then we're gonna keep going from there. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my image folder here again. And I'm gonna grab a few things and toss them into this UI. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in this faded frame and I'm gonna drop it in as an image type. And then I'm gonna stretch this out across the length and the width of the screen so it covers the whole thing. It's gonna look nice, we'll check that out later. And I'm gonna retitle it faded frame right now. Okay, perfect. Let's grab in another image. I'm gonna bring in this grass ground image. Now I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna just test this out right now and see how it looks. Ground image, perfect. And then let's bring in a logo. Can't have a game without a game title or a logo. So I'm gonna drop that in. I'm gonna move it up to the top here and then I'm gonna retitle it logo. And then let's also do a tap to play icon or just a tap icon. So I'm going to bring that in as an image as well. I'm gonna exit out of my image folder and I'm gonna put this right about here. Okay, that looks good. 
Now let's go ahead and hit the preview button and see what this looks like and we're gonna have to do some adjustments but let's see where we're at right now. So I'm gonna go up here to the right corner and hit my preview button and you can see the preview over here on the right and you can see boom the character there's an awesome animation going on in the background that's what's happening with the world and what happens is the character is hitting this enemy and the character is dying or his character is being defeated and so we don't want that so the first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of the enemies in that world. I also think I might adjust this grass so that it goes down a little bit further. So I'm going to take my ground image and I'm going to just slowly slide it down a little bit. And let's take a look at that in the preview right now. Okay, cool. I like it. It's a little bit more centered. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to exit out of my preview. I'm going to go into my mind map. I'm going to go into my main menu world here and we're going to change a few things around. So first things first, I'm going to get rid of these enemies in the other scenes. And we'll have this go on forever and ever. This will be endless. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to lower the camera down some. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this screen a little bit smaller. So I'm going to shrink this down some. I'm going to move this off to the right. OK. I'll go ahead and I'll minimize this. I'll pull this away because I just want to work within this scene right now. So I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to hit my preview button again. And I'm going to move this over just here to the side so I can still work with it at the same time. OK, so you can see our character is now going on forever and ever. And there's a little bit of motion here. And that's cool. That's that's what we want. But I don't like the, where the placement's at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust this somewhat. So I'm going to grab the camera here. I'll hit the space bar on my keyboard and I'll slide it over and I'm going to grab my camera and I'm going to try to move this down somewhat. So if I move downwards the action moves up and I think that looks good. Now the other thing I might do is I'm going to shrink this down a little bit as well. Um, I'm going to see if I can maybe move it a little bit further back and up. Okay. I want it right about there. Okay, that should look good. So I'm going to zoom out now. Okay, and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the ground. So I'm going to go over here to the color and I'm going to change the ground color to white. Perfect. Okay. So that's a little bit too white and we've got some shading and shadows issues going on right now. So I'm going to slide this over here so I have, can fully see what's going on. And let's see if I can reposition the sun in our scene so that it's a little bit more forgiving. So if I lift this up and over, or if I rotate the angle around, OK, the rotating the angle is what did it. So that's perfect. OK, great. And I think we should add in a little bit of color here underneath the uh, underneath this platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a second platform. I'll go ahead and I'll hit um, I'll hit D on my keyboard and I'll duplicate it and I'll bring in this other platform here. I'm going to zoom in on my scene. It's a little small right now, but that's OK because I got the preview window going. And let's change this platform. Let's call it uh, just another ground platform. I'm going to retitle it real fast. I'm going to change the color to something a little bit more um, kind of yellow. You can see that our platform is getting in the way of our character right now. That's not what we want. So we're going to change the color to something like this. Um, I'm going to press OK. I'm going to take the physics off of this uh, ground platform. So I'm going to double click on my ground platform. I'm going to go into my start node here and I'm going to take physics off. So it should start, pat the ball should start passing through. If I were to redo this, you'll see that the ball passes right through it. But um, what I really want to do is I want to make it so that it kind of works as a platform for the game. So I'm going to bring this down just like this. And I'm going to stretch this out. So I'm going to zoom out some more. OK, cool. I like that little road. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to paste it into my other scenes. And let's see what this looks like. OK, 
All right, I like that. I definitely think that it should be added. So I'm gonna redo this and you can see the ball starts on the platform, it's great. But you don't want a yellow ball on top of a yellow platform. So I'm gonna change the color of the character right now to a reddish color. Yeah, let's do something like that. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. So I'll press okay. I think that looks good. I might lower the, uh, the play button down just a little bit as well. But I think this is coming along nicely. So I'm going to exit out of the preview. I'm going to go to the mind map. And I'm going to go into the main menu. I'm going to lower the play button down just a little bit. And the same thing with the tap icon. OK, perfect. OK, so now we're ready to do a pretty cool animation that will lead into this. And But for right now, we're going to end this video here. So keep an eye out for the next video. We're going to go over some UI animations and get this really dialed in.